Will Kratos die in God of War Ragnarok? This is the question that's been on every gamer's mind since the end of God of War 2018. The main reason why people are asking this question is because of the story that was laid out on the walls in the cave in Jotunheim at the end of God of War 2018. The mural that showed Laufey the Just, otherwise known to us as Faye, Kratos' wife and Atreus' mother, helping her fellow giants escape the other realms to come to Jotunheim before Tyr hides the gates from every realm from the cruel Aesir gods. Then, showing all of the events of the game we played in 2018 laid out in front of us as if someone had foreseen all of the events. And then finally, Kratos in one final portion of the mural that shows our Spartan lying in Atreus' arms with his face split open with the words Hormung and Andlat next to them, which roughly translates to tragedy and death. If we're interpreting this correctly, then it's not good news for our god of war. Another Another reason why people might think that Kratos would die is because God of War Ragnarok is the end of the Norse saga, as confirmed by the Sony Santa Monica team. And there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. So, is this going to be the definitive end for the character? Is this the time to put the God of War franchise to rest? Well, today I'm going to give you guys my theory on what I think that prediction on the cave in Jotunheim represents and how I think it will all play out. My name is Eddie, and if you enjoyed this video, take a second to hit that like button, and if you want to see more juicy God of War Ragnarok theory videos, subscribe to the channel and you'll get that. Okay, so the big question, will Kratos die in God of War Ragnarok? My theory is yes, he will die, but not to end the game and not to sort of end the franchise in any sort of way, but rather as part of the story, the same way that he has died in previous God of War titles. Oh, and plot twist, my theory is that that isn't Kratos in the mural in the first place. Oh yeah, you wasn't expecting that, was you? Before I get into that bit, let me first explain to you how I think Kratos will die exactly. There are a few ways it can happen, but this is my favorite one because it spans over both of the games. I believe Kratos will die in an epic battle somewhere in the latter half of the game. Perhaps in a fight with Thor or Odin or even Freya. Oh, yeah, could be cool, could be. And I think he'll be brought back to the land of the living by some people that we helped in God of War 2018. That's right the Valkyries. Let me explain. Very early in God of War 2018, we see these human-like creatures begin to appear in Midgard called Hellwalkers. Later in the game, we find out that they are appearing in Midgard because the passage to Hell is completely backed up, and that is because these Valkyries, who in Norse mythology are responsible for ferrying the dead from battle to Valhalla, were not doing their job for some reason. Later, we find out that like a lot of terrible things in God of War, it's Odin's doing. Of course it is, of course. And he is each one of the Valkyries in their unnatural physical form using some form of dark magic. We see them later on locked away in various areas of Midgard and they are very angry for seemingly no reason. Well, it turns out that it's actually down to them being trapped in that physical form, which as I mentioned before is unnatural for these Valkyries and it drives them absolutely insane to the point that they attack anything and everything they see and this rage is uncontrollable to them. That's why when we meet them, the Valkyries are locked away in a magical prison of sorts. The acting Valkyrie queen Sigrun tells us that in order to protect people from their uncontrollable rage, she locked them in specific locations and that is how we meet them in 2018. But it is only when we defeat each of the Valkyries do we find out the true story and their purpose in all of the realms. And I believe in return for helping them, helping them get back into their true natural form and relieving them of all of that insanity and anger, they are going to see Kratos approach the bridge of the damned in Helheim and rescue him, bringing him back to Midgard, to Atreus, and to life. I'm imagining this whole thing happening at like the climax of a story, and right when you think you're about to win, BOOM! Kratos dies right in front of your eyes. And then he's brought back to life right in front of your eyes to fight a second round with the Aesir gods and annihilate them. So yes, I do believe that Kratos will die in God of War Ragnarok. Now that we've got that cool theory about how I think the Valkyries are going to play into Kratos' death and how he's going to come back out of the way, let's talk about the mural and what I said before, how that isn't Kratos in that final portion. Why is it exactly that we all think that that is Kratos in the mural? 
Do you see any red markings on him? Granted, in this mural, he's facing the other way, the side that doesn't have the markings on him. But still, do you see his shoulder armor? Do you see the Leviathan Axe or Blades of Chaos or anything that would indicate that this is our God of War? No. In fact, even in the previous parts of the mural where Kratos is shown, you can see him being depicted in his classic red skirt or kilt. I don't actually know what they've officially called that. <laughs> and for some reason, in this final part of the mural, it's different and green. No, my friend. Friends, no, this isn't Kratos at all. We all think that because of Atreus being very emotional in this moment. So it's a person that's clearly close to Atreus. And because it's a bald looking dude, we just assume that it must be Kratos lying in his arms. I think this is someone else entirely. And I think it's someone we meet on the journey of Ragnarok. Someone Atreus becomes attached to. And this person dies to give birth to Jormungandr to complete the prophecy. Have I just blown all of your minds? Are you ready, guys? Are you ready for Ragnarok? Ragnarok. <laughs> That is my God of War Ragnarok theory video for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. If you did like what you saw, then feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I've got a video about how I believe we're going to be time traveling, about how I believe Freya is the key to defeating everyone. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that stuff. And if you have any theories of your own, feel free to drop them in the comments section. Or if you've got any criticisms of my theories, feel free to drop them down there too. I love to talk about this kind of stuff. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Catch you guys all in the next one. Bye.